it's actually by far my most important point is, you know, what is the most urgent and mortal danger of, of today? It has not come to my knowledge that any of these organizations that you um, referred to in the article were ever linked to a terrorist or a would-be terrorist inside the U.S. I mean, the, the, the real problem of today is Fort Hood, right? That's the problem we have on, on our hands. It's uh, instant jihad or uh, homegrown terrorism. Uh, and the reason is pretty clear. It's that not only such uh, a link between a instant jihadist and uh, one of these organizations would be a disaster for them, but one could argue that by standing up against Islamophobia, these organizations actually contribute to deflating the, the threat, to changing the environment in which that is conducive to instant jihad. So my recommendation would actually be the opposite of, uh, of that of Peter, which is to engage them uh, as much as uh, possible to counter the real threat, which is that of the uh, instant uh, jihad. And that's uh, one of the focus that we've had with uh, Jonathan Lawrence in our work on, on Europe, his work on Europe and our work on, on, on uh, France, which is how do states engage with these Muslim organizations, some of them um, being what um, Nicolas Sarkozy called um, uh, spiced Islam uh, in a way to avoid uh, the, um, uh, 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 the um, 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 sort of um, um, offensive terms or um, a different uh, qualification. So what has created homegrown terrorism or instant jihad, I think, is not care, is not uh, ikna or mass. Uh, it's a combination of the al-Qaeda uh, narrative and the internet 